Wow. Is this to hold a mess kit? No. Nope. No? I imagine getting it back in is lots of fun. Gauze and tape and ace bandage. Okay. It's starting to look like a first aid kit. We had uh, uh, a powder that we sprinkled on us and then bandaged it up. This is much nicer. This is more or less something like we used to have. A jump rope. Uh-huh. It was an OD bundle with, with a gauze set up in there to soak it up, stop it. Oh, yeah, and this one here will wrap around tight and hold it that way. The, other, the, the old type was nowhere near nothing like that. You had to tie it and keep it tight. I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, well, I don't know. We already got the tourniquet. Let me see. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a worm. All right. <laughs> it's it's good for wall. fishing. Oh. Suppository? I can't even pronounce that word, let alone tell you what it is. <laughs> nasal pharyngeal airway. To put in the nasal, to put down the nasal tube. Oh. Keep it open. Oh, oh, to help breathe. a person breathe or, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't even read that, the nose. Fun. A little bit big around for what I thought it was. <laughs> you know what I was thinking. But it's pretty far advanced to what we had. <laughs> That, about that size, that was our first aid kit. <laughs> All it basically was a bandage. Penicillin. We always had penicillin. We used to have salt pills. That's before they knew that too much salt would hurt you. We didn't have a first aid kit. All we had was the packet for winding up wounds and stuff like that. Uh, just a bandage. And this is a lot more to it. This would have been very nice, like at an aid station or something like that, but not to carry it. Well, nowadays, um, when we're out, every troop carries one of those on their person. Really? Yep. Every single person. Those, those people must be strong. <laughs> and you know how you get strong? Don't bathe.